Hello and welcome to a short explanation of some of the methods, the advantages and disadvantages of them in taking your stuff from either your drop-off point with a bus or more likely from my experience from a car to your campsite. So you'll see that there's a number of receptacles gathered around. I was uh, probably quite notable for my wheelie bin Super wheelie bin fridge at Download Festival for a few years. That's not it. It's over in a corner. I can't get it out. Um, you will not be allowed wheelie bins at Download and you may not be allowed at other festivals as well. So please check if these things are allowed. Shopping trolleys are also not allowed, but I'll come to why these things, it's re it, why these things really don't matter because they're useless. In, their, in their, their form that you normally take them, like the one you're looking at just now, unless you do some serious modifications. Right, the other thing that people will generally do is put things on their back. I have no issue with that. Here we go, here's just a standard rucksack. Bigger and smaller ones are available, and of course you can carry two rucksacks. You can put one over your front, and then the other one over your back. So that allows you that without having wheels. But the main purposes of this video today is to show you some tips about things with wheels. I'm going to just try to rattle through things as quickly as possible because I know you're busy preparing uh, for download or another festival if you're watching this later in the year or in subsequent years. First of all, let's do a pretty simple test to show why certain things that may seem good, such as a wheeled suitcase, really are no good at all. This trolley jack is representing a shopping trolley. Currently we're on, assume it's a garage floor, or in the case of a shopping trolley, a supermarket smooth polished floor. With the small wheels we take it along the smooth thing and it's fine there. And as soon as we hit grass, it starts to get stuck. That is not, if it's a shopping trolley, going to get you anywhere and if you do get as far as security as I say you will be refused entry with the shopping trolley because they'll probably think it's nicked. Same idea with unfortunately a wheeled suitcase. This is empty but I'm sure you'll see the effect that it smoothly glides along an airport concourse which is what it's designed for but as soon as it leaves that and hits the grass not only do the wheels not cope, but you'll see that the way you're carrying it, the back end of the case starts digging in. Now I've seen countless, possibly hundreds of wheels and also people with wheelless trolleys uh, pulling them, or wheelless cases, uh, with the bottoms starting to rip out of them. This is not something to take. You could take one, but load it onto a barrow. Now barrows, very quickly, wheelbarrow, I see lots of people with wheelbarrows, okay, not a bad, not a bad option. The problem with a wheelbarrow is the way it's loaded. A wheelbarrow is designed to take most of its weight at the front with the weight over the wheel. Unfortunately the design of a wheelbarrow means when you're putting your tent and stuff into it, even a beer case, the majority of the weight is going to be at the back and that means the majority of the weight is going to be on your hands having to hold it off the ground as you either push or pull it. If you pull a wheelbarrow, the chances are you're going to kick, It's going to, your heels are going to catch every time you lift your feet as well. By all means take a wheelbarrow, but I don't recommend them. So on to probably the best type of trolley to take is one of these sack trucks. Now you note that both of these here have individual they have a pair, of, a pair of handles at the top. That is better than one which has the looped handle at the top because it means you can use both hands and spread the weight between those hands. Also, if you're pulling it behind you, one with a looped handle will mean you have to put your hands together behind your back. It's not so easy. So something like this is a good thing. And this was the reason for making this video in the first place which was to show you a great tip to allow you 
speed uh, and potentially security once you get to your tent and also because I know that not everybody has big cars these things including your stuff and all your mates and all your beer doesn't always go into your car very easily this one has been with me at download several times oil, oil your, <laughs> excuse me put oil on your wheels before you go as well if you've used it before right let me show you this that is the wheel there which spins like so now you can take those wheels off but on a standard trolley the kit you get usually the wheels aren't attached when you buy it and you get a little kit that includes these things split pins now this is a second hand trolley somebody else has built this trolley and they haven't used the split pins correctly I couldn't find any split pins to show you an example of but what I will show you which will nicely link to something a little bit later on is that of if I can pick them up with my fingers is that of a Kirby grip a split pin looks very much like a Kirby grip in that one leg is shorter than the other or maybe angled outwards and the theory of it is that you put the whole clip through the hole in the axle there we go through the hole and then you split one of those legs up to lock it in place you can curve it around the axle if you like as well what not to do as somebody has done on this one I'll put this cubby grip back because I'm coming back to that is they have twisted it like so but irrespective of that what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to get that off and I'm going to show you a really good way to upgrade your trolley this is the problem normally the only way to get one of these split pins off is to use a pair of pliers you want to be carrying as little as absolutely necessary with you and this is the wheel I practiced on earlier which doesn't work so it's another good example of why there's problems right so if I take that off there and take what's left of the split pin out the problem with split pins is they're only designed to be used once if you keep taking them in and out the same as if you work a paper clip back and forth it will eventually snap and you'll have nothing to hold your wheels on back to the Kirby grip then as an absolute minimum I would recommend if you can't get some split pins carrying a few Kirby grips as an emergency and I do mean emergency way of holding your wheels on if something happens right so back to the trolley with that split pin off the wheel comes off easily now with the wheels off a trolley it takes up much less space when you arrive at camp you can leave it beside your tent and if somebody wants to nick it or borrow it and forget to get, give it back then they're not going to manage if they legitimately want to borrow it they'll have the decency to ask you to do so that's the wheel on that one back on let's look at my one and let's look at how this wheel comes off this is an R pin these are available from hardware stores B&Q and such like very cheap pennies these things cost right but the beauty of them is that effectively they turn your trolley into a Formula One wheel change if there is such a thing all you do and this one again see I should have I should have edited this video that one's rusted on which is why it should have been oiled it's spent a Scottish winter outside so it's no wonder right so <laughs> here's one on the other wheel and with a little bit of a wiggle even with the lack of oil the wheel pops off now what you're left with is one or sometimes two of these washers now 
the, dis the instructions for the trolley may tell you to put it a certain way. I tend to always have one on the outside of the wheel. So the wheel goes onto the axle, the washer goes on, and then you put the R-pin through. That stops anything catching. It's also worth noting that the R-pins are available in several sizes. When the wheel turns, you have to make sure that that pin will not rip your valve apart because obviously you'll have a puncture as a result of that. Now the advantage now is you can take these wheels and especially when you go back to your car if it's been a particularly muddy festival you don't want to get mud. The majority of the mud's going to be that's Donington's finest still on there again after a winter in Aberdeenshire. You want to get these wheels somewhere out of the way but that they're not going to get mud all over your car. Perfectly simple. Supermarket carrier bag, pop the wheels in and stick them in your car or as I did when I was using my, my wheelie bin with these types of wheels, pop them in your, your bag and take them back for a second trip. So that's the, the crux of it. The other things to bear in mind are that these trolleys do need maintenance, as you've just seen. They do need a bit of oil if you've used them before. Just WD-40 or something like that is usually sufficient, although the thicker the oil generally the better. And that's another good reason to keep these things in carrier bags when they're in your car, because otherwise the oil could get everywhere. If you're worried about sharp edges, because you've taken the wheel off, just a little bit of pipe. This is actually a plastic central heating pipe, but any kind of thing like that, or even garden hose, pop that over there, and there you go. There's a slightly safer edge if you're loading that into your car and you don't want things to get knocked. Finally, as well as oiling your trolley each year, what you maybe want to do is fit several of these cable ties not on the handle, but uh, a little bit further down. Don't pull them tight, just leave a little bit of slack. And then when you're tying things on, uh, as well as being onto the, tying things onto the frame, you've got a cable tie that you can put your bungee cord, which I would also recommend you use to tie things on with as well. I've probably forgotten loads of things because I've raced through this. Oh, there's one last thing. Um, if you don't want to be bored, by all means go now, but I'll try to do this as best I can with one hand. Simple demonstration of a curb or a big rock. There we go. You'll see them all over festivals. They hold the fences up. If you're walking over one of them, there's something seriously wrong, but I'm just using it for an illustration. Wheelbarrow. Not too bad. The wheeled case. Excuse the sunshine. Disastrous. Now remember that's going to be every rock you hit is going to have ripping forces on your case. Like I say, by all means put your case on one of the trolleys but I would never use one of these cases just to go to download, uh, just to, well, just to, to carry it across the site. The trolleys, I think when I haven't actually taken the wheels off, when you're going over a curb, especially, pull over a curb, pull it over, there we go. If you try to push it, you're pushing your entire load into that obstacle and what you'll end up having to do is lift the handles and walk it over. So if you're going over a rough ground often the best way is to pull it. Furthermore if you're pushing, if you hit something hard then it's going to put all the force right through the trolley, through the handle and into your hand. It might not hurt but after the 200th time 
you're going to have a bit of fatigue. Fatigue. There's no shame in wearing a pair of gloves. Just a pair of gardening gloves. You don't have to wear them in the campsite if you want to look cool. Just cuts down on mess and possible knocks and bangs. Hopefully that's been of some help and hopefully with my terrible broadband connection this long uh, video will upload without too many troubles. Hopefully I will be posting more trolley videos and hopefully I am posting something I am in the middle of designing which will be better than all of these because none of these trolleys or wheeled items is designed for a music festival. Mine will be lightweight, it will be foldable, hopefully even able to be taking, taken in the cargo of a bus or a plane and hopefully it'll be cheap as well. But that's still in development and I shall hopefully update you with that. Thank you very much and really, really hope you enjoy your festival, whether it's Download or any others yet to come. Thanks now.